ABC 17 News is helping bring awareness to a disease that affects around 120,000 Missourians. I sat down with some community members who have been personally impacted by this disease in one way or another. Here's just a few of their stories and how they've found the good in what can be such a dark place. Mom loves to sing, so we do a lot of singing. A lot, a lot of, of singing. singing. Jackie Campeter is the daughter of one of the six million Americans who have Alzheimer's, and each day her mom is battling the disease. Mom has kind of gone back into like a childlike state. Uh, I mean, she's been a joy. She's an absolute joy. But it's just hard. It's hard that she's, she's missing out on her golden years. After her mother's diagnosis, Jackie decided to volunteer as a community involvement chair for the Jefferson City Walk to End Alzheimer's. She works alongside co-chair Henrietta Lopez, who served as a personal caregiver for Rita Beth Connell. I think with Rita, she loved to dance. She could hear music and right away if she was up there, she might, she might have been able to stand up too good, but we'd be behind her and there she would, just shaking away. Henrietta said while serving as a caretaker, it also allowed her to help Rita's family. They don't understand, and that's why you're there to try to tell them what the person's stages are going through and why they're doing it. They don't understand until you explain what's going on in that person's mind. You know, they, they're not responsible for their self. It's a disease. Another committee member located in Columbia who's taken up the fight to end Alzheimer's is April Cockrell. She took care of her mother-in-law, Sharon, until she recently lost her battle with Alzheimer's. Basically, it started out, um, she lived by herself, and we noticed um, just little things like um, she'd, she'd forget to pay a bill. After some cognitive tests and scans, it was confirmed that Sharon had Alzheimer's. Yes, she had this disease, but she did not want to admit it, which I'm sure it's very difficult. Throughout the entire process, April stressed the importance of being a voice for her mother-in-law. You have to be an advocate for them because, as I said, she was going to the doctors, but her mind didn't have enough there to quite understand, or if it did, she fought it because, I mean, who wants to hear that, hey, you have Alzheimer's? Although all three ladies had different journeys up to this point, They've all come together to raise money and spread awareness for the Alzheimer's Association. And they all have one goal in mind. My goal going forward is to find a cure because nobody should have to go through this. Nobody. Being a caregiver, being a patient, anybody. And as of this morning, Jackie and Henrietta's team, Mama and Rita's Angels, has raised nearly $23,000 for the Jefferson City Walk to End Alzheimer's. And speaking of the walk, on Sunday, ABC 17 News will be walking in support of the Alzheimer's Association in Jefferson City. If you'd like to donate or sign up to walk, you can scan the QR code on your screen. And make sure to follow along all week for continued coverage in our Living with Alzheimer's segments.